Hi everyone, Vicky here. I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is my contribution to the Team Tiny Love Hop. I've decided to go slightly different and show you my Galantine that I made for my bestie. Um, so this is going to be a watercolour card. The actual watercolour ring I have really sped up because it did take me a while to do. I'm going to be using this fabulous Honeybee Stamps Gal Pal stamp set. Um, I just fell in love with this image. This is the entire reason I bought the set, I'm not even going to lie. Um, I have already stamped this onto watercolour card because I'm going to be using my Spectrum Noir Aqua Blends and my Hunky Dory Prism watercolour um, brush pens. Um, I've stamped this onto my watercolour card using Versafine and then heat embossed it with some Cosmic Shimmer detailed embossing powder. It's just a clear embossing powder. Um, so that's already done and heat set and I've let it dry. I am literally using my glass mat as a palette and basically I'm just scribbling my colours onto the mat, wetting them with water and using my paintbrush to fill them in. Um, it did take me quite a while to do this. You'll notice that the first things I do are both sets of girls' hair and the trousers. They were quite large areas and I wanted to get a nice base colour down on those. The joy of using a heat embossed image is that it does keep the colours pretty well in there unless you really go out of the lines they don't bleed um i do still try to keep sections apart so i won't do the hair and then do the color right next to it just in case my brush accidentally touches it and it mixes it because it will obviously then impact your color um as i say i am doing this as a galentine for my best friend i've already done my other house valentine card but I saw this stamp set and my best friend has really been there for me recently. Um, I've had a lot going on um, <laughs> in my non-crafting life and it's not been the easiest start to the year. And my bestie has looked after me along with my other half um, and my family. And I just want to make sure she knows how much I love her um, as well. So I thought I'd send her a Galentine card. This is the Team Tiny Love Hop, which is why, because it wasn't... For your other half valentines i thought i would share the love for my bestie in this one and um, just something different because i have a feeling obviously a lot of you would be expecting a valentine for my other half so i thought it would be nice to just show you a little something different love means a lot of different things um to a lot of different people i have a huge amount of love for my friends i'm an only child so they're my surrogate siblings along with my cousins um so obviously i do want to share that again all these watercolor in is just going i think the important thing to remember is get a nice wash down and then i can go back in for the details um make sure you have kitchen roll to hand to wipe your brushes on and to clean up the mess that you're making because i'm not the tidiest when it comes to doing watercoloring and um, i do enjoy watercoloring i'm not great at it but i find using these pens gives me a nice wide palette it already had some of the colors i kind of wanted and i'm terrible at making flesh tones so I decided that that was the way to go for doing this rather than using my actual watercolour palette. Um, as I say, this is the Team Tiny Love Hop. It is a hashtag driven hop. So please do pop the hashtag into your YouTube and follow along the hop that way. It'll bring up all the other people that are in the hop and the videos will undoubtedly be awesome. Um, please do share some love for the contributors if you give them a like a comment and if you do enjoy the channel please do subscribe it would mean the world to them i know if you've came to me through the hop and you do any of those things i know that it means a lot to me so i know it will mean a lot to them as well team tiny is a group of youtubers we all have under a thousand subscribers so all your videos won't have any adverts in them which are always good um and we just all banded together so we could support each other and help each other grow our little YouTube channels. So please do show some love and share the love. Um, I'm just going back in now on here just to add a little bit of definition and some shadow. Um, I also realised that I hadn't coloured in my girl's neck and I had to try and remember which pens because I didn't put them down in the order I thought I had. And um, So I'm just using a spare bit of paper just to test some of the colours <laughs> to try and see if I can get it right. I didn't get it 100% but Hey ho, what can I say? Um, because it's a different it's quite far away from our arms, you can't really notice. And you probably hadn't noticed until I just told you. So pretend I didn't tell you. Thanks. Um, so I'm just going in and trying to make sure I get all those little bits. Um deciding what colour to do the tops. 
took me quite a while. Um, anyway, I wanted both of us in blue jeans. Um, the redhead on the left represents me um, because I have a hell of a lot of red hair. I am a natural redhead. I'm not quite as almost dyed red as this one looks, but it's representational, I feel. My best friend's hair is also not that short and curly, although I think she wishes it that it had the volume that that hair has. Um, she always wants more volume in her hair, whereas I want less in mine. I always want one you can't have. Um, I decided to go with a yellow top on the redhead because yellow and red go very nicely together. Um, trust me on that one. I know that one. <laughs> um, and then for the other top, I decided you can't be a bit purple. It's my favourite colour and I knew that it would go with all the other colours that I was putting into the image. I also actually really like these tops. I wish they were real tops that I could buy because they're both a little bit interesting. But never mind, you know. Stamped images, you can't really take the clothing from them unless you can make clothing. If anyone can make clothing and they're up to making me a top, you know, just, just get in touch. It'd be great. Um, so I'm just going to finish getting the last of my layers on here. And you can see why I've sped this up. This is actually at four times speed of what I actually coloured it at. Otherwise, this would have been an incredibly long video. Um, but I knew you wouldn't want to watch an incredibly long video. Too much of me gassing. Um, for anyone that doesn't understand what gassing is, it's kind of a northern colloquialism in the UK. It just means talking. It's nothing weird, I promise. So that is my nice finished image and it's all nice and dry. I did leave it to dry naturally. So I'm going to get that popped in my Misty because I need to add in my sentiment. Again, I'm going back to the sentiments from the stamp set, the Gal Pal stamp set. As I say, I love this set. It's so adorable. Um, so I'm also checking to see which ones actually fit in the space that I have left. This is a four by five and a quarter um, piece of watercolour card because my card blank is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So I want that nice quarter inch border all the way around. Um, so I decided to go with this lovely little one. So I'm going to heat emboss this as well. Obviously it is watercolour card. So I don't think the... Um, it always ends up being quite as bright if you don't. I'm using, this is my new embossing buddy, which I'm still trying to get the lid off quite often. Um, it's from We Are Memory Keepers. I do have a little bag one, um, but I've seen a lot of people use these ones. So I thought I'd give it a little whirl and see what I think. Um, my first impressions are, I really like the smell of the powder in this one. I know it sounds really weird, but it smells like talcum powder, like really nice talcum powder, possibly baby talcum powder, um, which is just a really lovely smell. So, you know, that's always a bonus if your craft products smell nice. Not something I'm sure most of us think about, but, you know. So I am going to stamp that a couple of times to get a nice clear impression. As I was saying, I do like to heat emboss if I am stamping onto watercolour card, just because of, obviously, the texture in the card. You need that little bit of extra to make sure it really pops and stands out. I mean, it stands out pretty well when it's just stamped, but the heat embossing just adds that little bit of extra. So I have a card blank that I made and then messed up. So I've just now used that as my powder catching tool, if you will. So I'm just going to grab my Cosmic Shimmer back out again. And I'm just going to pour that over my sentiment. I decided to turn it over so it didn't go over my image. Because it would have been a nightmare trying to get it from the bit that had been stuck. Uh, flick that off to make sure that there's no residual powder lurking around. And then obviously make sure you pour your remaining powder back into your tub or you will be forever upset that you haven't got enough powder. This tub is going to last a hell of a long time. The little tubs last for ages and this tub is huge. So I think I'm covered for quite a while. I'm going to get my heat gun out and I'm going to give that a bit of time to actually heat up. The key is to not be impatient, which I am. I'm not going to lie. I always want my to heat emboss straight away because I just love heat embossing. I love watching the ink melt, the powder melt even. It just, it makes me happy. So I'm gonna start that now. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it completely, but you can see it does get that little bit brighter and darker as that powder is melting. Always give it a good little waft over the top as well. Don't know why, I just feel like a little waft always helps. So there's the sentiment done as well. Um, I did, think that I was recording, put in my sentiment, happy Valentine's Day, into my card. However, I had forgotten to press um, 
that. So that was just stamped with my My Favourite Things uh, Extreme Black. And then I also went around the edge of my image with my Spectrum Noir True Black pen just to give it a bit of a fake matting and layering look. I did video those bits and then evidently didn't actually video them. I thought I'd pressed record and hadn't. So I am sorry that you missed that section, but that's what I did. I'm going to use tape and glue to stick this down. The paper is still slightly warped from when it was watercoloured. It's It happens. You could run it through your die cutting machine just with the plates to try and flatten it out. Um, but my plates are well used and they've got slight indentations. And what I didn't want was to transfer the indentations or to push down the embossing because I like the detail of the embossing. So I've decided that the tape will give it the extra stick it needs and then the glue will give it that permanence once the glue sets. So the stickiness, the stickiness of the glue tape, the tape pen. The stickiness of the tape pen <laughs> will hold it down in the interim and then the glue will give it that permanence that it needs so that it doesn't get ruined in the post. Um, I was evidently having a morning when I did this because I also nearly put this into the envelope without taking a picture of the card as well, which would have made me really sad. Um, so I'm glad I realised as I was putting it in the envelope <laughs> and took the picture. Um, so I'm just going to get that lined up on the card there and press that down nice and firmly. And I did decide to chuck my misty on top of it just to really add a bit of extra pressure on it to get that nice and firmly down while I put all my bits and bobs away. Um, but that is the card finished once I remove the misty and show you again. Um, I really hope that you have enjoyed the video. Um, I really enjoyed making this card. Please do follow along um, to all the other people on the hop. If you've enjoyed the video or you have any comments, please like and subscribe and leave a comment because I always love it and I do try and reply to them all. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Bye.